In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can curve the ball, right to left, left to right, high or low. Now, you might be saying, Danny, look, I have enough curve on my shots already. I'm always curving it into the trees, right, or curving it into left. I just wanna learn how to hit it straight. Well, do you know what? Learning how to curve the ball will actually help you to hit the ball straight. Because if you know how to draw the ball, let's say, you know what it feels like to draw the ball, well, if you slice it, you can simply reduce that slice by taking this strategy over here. Vice versa, if you hook the golf ball and you know how to slice it, or feel how to slice it, you can reduce that hook during your round. Also, if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'll show you how understanding how to play the ball high and low can actually improve your ball striking with your irons too. You see, shaping a golf ball should not be a skill that is for better players. It's fundamental to actually every single golfer becoming more consistent in their ball striking and you hitting the ball much, much straighter. So that's what I'm gonna cover in this week's golf lesson. Now before I do look, if you're new to the channel, it's one of your first videos of mine, please consider subscribing. Just press that little bell button, next subscribe button, you get notified every time I release a video just like this one. Plus, I'll put a free downloadable practice plan in the description box below so you never have to remember a thing. Just download it and take it to the range. Great, come on, let's have some fun. Let's help you hit much straighter shots by learning how to curve the ball. We're gonna start with the shot that curves from right to left, then we'll go into left to right, and then we'll give you some ball striking tips by helping you hit it high and low. So, let's start with getting the ball curving from right to left first. If you want the ball to set off to the right and curve back, well, we want the ball set off of there. You need the club heading in that direction, yeah? So that's the first thing you wanna do. You wanna feel what it's like to head in that direction. So watch this, if I were gonna swing the club over there, what's happening to my body? Well look, I set my body up roughly in that direction. How much? You have gotta learn to feel this, and this comes with a bit of practice. But I'm gonna aim my body in that direction. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start swinging over there. So I'm gonna put the club roughly over in that direction. Well, to get it over there, what would make it easier in the backswing? Swinging towards you? No, swinging somewhere deep over here, yeah? So I get a sense of that. Maybe swing one-handed first. Imagine I'm throwing the club over there. What does it feel like in my left hand? Then swing it and throw it over there with my right hand. What does it feel in both hands? Get a sense of that if I was just tossing something over there. That gives me the sense then of what path is, where that path is heading. Okay, right, but just path alone, well that could just get the ball hitting straight to the right, we don't want that. So we need curvature. To get the curve, you need the club face closed to the path that it's on to get the ball spinning this way. Now we'll go into detail a little bit more, but that's all you need to do to get the ball curving from right to left. Now, how do you, do, how do you close the face without having to overthink it? Well, watch this. There's a the club face square. I'm gonna turn my knuckles down. Hey, Presta, I've now got the feeling of what a close face is. Simple. Put the right hand on. I've now got the feeling of what a close face feels like. So get myself set, turn knuckles down. There's a the close face. Now all I've gotta do is start to approach my, the shot as if I'm just approaching throwing a ball or playing tennis. I'm gonna approach the shot in a way that's gonna get the ball setting off over to the right hand side. I'm gonna start swinging, look over that way with a feeling that my knuckles are facing the ground and that should give me a lovely shape from right to left. Now we may exaggerate to start off with just for illustration purposes, but let's have some fun. There it goes, nice little draw. Beautiful. Right, so we're gonna see in a second, we have a look at this path. So there we go, look, so we've got a path that's 6.8 out to the right, so positive number on Trackman is a, a path that's out to the right hand side, and then we've got a close face, 4.9, which gives you that lovely shape, that curvature back to the flags, nice and simple, yeah? So you take those feelings, yeah, those, take, those, take those feelings, you go, okay, that's how I curve it exaggerate it to start with as much as you can. You might find if you're a slicer, you don't get any curve to start with. You might have to really exaggerate it. Whatever you need to do, keep doing it until you get the curve. Yeah, really, I promise you, it will so, so help. So once you've done that, then feel the opposite. We're now gonna get the sensation here of bending it from left to right. Well, what's left to right? How do I do this? What's well, the same? Club path needs to be swinging where? 
over in this direction now, yeah? We swing left to target. What's that gonna feel like? Well, I'm gonna approach more this way, right? So I'm gonna look in that left hand uh, direction and now I'm gonna set my body rough, roughly there. Where am I gonna swing now? I'm gonna swing around here where we were before. No, I'm gonna feel like the swing now is a lot more over this section of swinging where? Over here, I feel like I'm rotating more to my left hand side to come across the ball, right? To create that spin. But if the club face is square, it'll go straight left. So I also look, gonna feel what is it like to kind of get that club face open, feel it in my left, feel it in my right. Okay, now I've got the feeling of what is open. Now I take those feelings, I start to make some swings, like approach it over there. Imagine if I was playing tennis, throwing a ball, cutting a tennis shot. These are the feelings I'm after to try to create this bend. Backwards, forwards, let's have a look at this. Approach it a little bit left, let's have some fun. Now watch this, this is going to curve now, look at this, beautifully curving back to that flag. There we go, right? So left to right. Now here we go, I'm exaggerating here, obviously look at those numbers, minus 8.2, which shows a real path that's going left, a target, a positive number in the club face there on Trackman, a 3.9, which means the club face is aiming right of the path, which means it's what's created that cut, yeah? So, now, if I want to hit the ball dead straight, I've now got a feeling of, okay, that's the feeling of drawing it or curving it from right to left. That's the feeling of cutting it. Well, what's dead straight? In between those. So I've got two feelings that I can work now in between. Now, I'm never trying to hit a straight shot because it's too difficult. But let's see how close I can get now with those feelings to a dead straight shot. Let's have a look at this. Pretty straight. It's pretty straight. This will be interesting. Oh, that is pretty good actually. Minus one and minus 0.4 is pretty good when it comes to getting everything lined up. How can I do that? How can I hit it straight like that? Because I know the feeling of both sides. You need to do that too if you want to become a straighter hitter of the shot, right? So we've done that. Now, let's now improve your ball striking. We're going to do this by teaching you how to hit it high and low. So, you know as well as I do, if you strike the ground behind the golf ball, you struggle to fat it, often it's because you're getting into this flicky position here, adding loft to the club. So, playing lower shots is a great way that top players have found to improve their ball striking. So, to play a low shot, a lower trajectory shot, you need to get the Dynamic loft down on the golf club here. Now, a lot of people try to do this by moving the ball way back in the stance. You don't need to do that. You just need to make sure that at impact, that loft is down. So you get a feel of that there. Now, what I'll do is, is rather than allow the club head to release violently through into a full finish, what a great drill is, is to imagine finishing much, much, much shorter here. Yeah, much, much shorter. I feel like my chest is more over the ball and I'm finishing in a curtailed follow through here. Great way, because what it does, if anything, it keeps the club head just delaying, like naturally lagging behind the grip end to keep that loft down here. If you allow the club to fire into the, into the finish position, it's too easy to get flicking and letting the head go free. So curtailing your follow through, you can move the ball back a, a smidge if you like to de-loft it, but I would start just there. Let's have a look at this in action. So I'm gonna play a low ball flight now, See how low I can go, actually. Let's have some fun with this. That is very low. Probably just overcooked a bit of a draw in that as well, but that's not too bad. So that's very, very low, but worked, worked a treat, yeah? So nice low ball flight, just playing it there, really keeping it down. You can, by the way, you can match, you can mix and match these. If you want to play, um, you want to improve your ball striking and maybe play a draw as well, we'll do the same thing. What I might feel is, is I might feel like I'm heading a bit out to the right hand side, so deep here, out to the right, feeling those knuckles are down, I really feel like I'm going to curtail my follow through here to train a, a draw and a strike at the same time. Why not let's have a go at that, right? So I'm going to aim a little bit, I'm going to approach the ball, aiming a little bit out to the right hand side, get myself set again, let's see if we can play a nice low draw. Here we go, I should come back in now, there we go. 
right? Penetrating flight. Because of that, look at that great ball strike, gets to the back of the green this time, yeah? So you can mix and match these. These are what's gonna give you the control over your golf club. They're gonna give you that feel that you really, really, really need, okay? So, higher shot. Well, higher shot, high shot, high finish. High shot, high finish. Allow the club to really release upwards. I'll probably push the ball forward in my stance a little bit here and really let that club finish nice and high. Let's finish off with that one and then we'll give you a little summary at the end. Pushing the ball forward. High shot. Now, so glad I did that. I didn't quite strike that. I caught that a fraction heavy, so it's probably not going to reach. That's the difference. When you start releasing too much, like me exaggerating it here, this is me doing this, really catching it fat. That's the problem when you over-release it, yeah? So you've got those feelings and now play around with it. If you do that, you'll get so much creativity, but more importantly, it's not about getting you to curve the ball over the, uh, all over the golf course. It's about giving you control. Learn to control the club, you get control over the golf ball too. So, so important. So, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Maybe share it with one of your friends if you think they could benefit. And of course, look, if you're new to the channel, remember, press that subscribe button and the bell so I can see you next week. I've put a free download of practice plan in the description box below. But do you know what? Go and have some fun. Experiment. Stop trying to hit the ball straight. Curve the ball. Have some fun with it. Just play and enjoy. When you do that, you get control. You become more consistent in everything that you do. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.